Moving along, um, we're going to go to Marist College next for uh, reorganizing with resources. An old, old tool, but uh, I, I'm looking for new life being uh, breathed into it. So Stephanie and Megan from Marist, take it away, please. There we go. Hi. We can hear you now, Megan. Oh, hi, everyone. Um, I'm sorry. Have I been given screen sharing access? I can't. Okay, I wasn't sure to, who to give it to. Stephanie has it, I think, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're seeing both Megan and Stephanie now, but you're both muted. Yes, she's trying okay. to share right now. Okay, good. We got it. Just one minute. Sorry. Good. I'm sorry, everyone. This is my first time using Big Blue Button, so it's uploading it now. Sorry, everyone. There you go. All right, we're good to go. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into the reorganizing with resources. Specifically, we're coming from the standpoint of using the link resource folder tool when you are um, using a lessons page and you want to link to a lessons page. So if you're not familiar with how to go about doing that, if you've never used the feature, um, basically you would just need to go to a lessons page, um, click the add content button, um, look for the heading that says linked or embedded items, and then you would click the add resource folder button. Um, basically, you would first create your resource folders and then come here and click the add resource folder button, which would then link the resource folder to a lessons page. So we've used this at Maris for a couple of things, which we'll go over soon, but um, we've seen some overall benefits to using the link resource folder tool um, feature. And a couple of the things that we've seen is that it reduces the amount of time spent building and maintaining resource specific aspects of a site. Um, it also streamlines and packages pertinent resources in specific places that make uh, resources easy to find and make the site easily, um, easily able to be navigated by visitors of the site. And then finally, we've also seen that it helps with replication for future iterations of a site um, or for course sites that need to just move from semester to semester. And we're going to go over how we've specifically applied this in two ways. One of the ways that we've applied um, this uh, feature is in course templates for faculty. Um, so we've created course templates that faculty use from semester to semester, and we've implemented this feature for them. We've also implemented this in resource sites. Specifically, we'll talk about um, our career services department and a resource site we created for them where we utilized linking the resource folder to a beautiful lessons page. And I'm going to hand it over to Megan, who's going to talk about um, how we went about this and why this worked for us. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to start with how we use this within a course template. Just to give you a little bit of background, over the last year and a half, we started creating templates to streamline the process of course development within our learning management system for the faculty. This really was a big help over COVID when we were working on creating different self-paced courses. 
These templates create mod contain modules for each week of the semester to help faculty members present the course content in a way that's really efficient, really organized, and is already laid out for them. You'll see on the side here, this is an example of our intermediate template. We have different levels for our templates, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Each of those templates contain modules for each week of the semester. You'll see where we have those buttons down here. And these modules each contain a place for instructors to link and embed resources within the site. So you'll see here, this is an example of what one of our modules look like. So those buttons all link to modules that look like this. We created resource folders for each week of the semester, and then we linked them to the corresponding module in the place where you were able to link or embed resources. So you'll see here how we have the weekly resource folders, and then here where we have the ability to link resources, there is a resource folder, and then you can see the resources that have auto-populated when they were uploaded to resources there. By doing this, we were able to ensure that resources would auto-populate in the correct place within the site. So as long as they're uploaded to the right week, they'll be in the right area of the site. This also ensures that outdated resources can be easily removed or updated without any kind of fear of the instructor messing up the layout of the page, which was an issue we had a lot at the beginning. And this also streamlined the process for adding and accessing resources in the site. Instructors were easily able to add their resources and students could easily find them. There was really no, no ability to have to go into resources, any confusion there, which saved the faculty a tremendous amount of time. Now I'll talk a little bit about how we used it within a resource site for students. So this was actually for our career services um, department here at Marist. And prior to the creation and linking of the resource folders, we actually did have a Sakai site for our career services department, but it was only filled with the resources. There were nothing on the lessons pages. It was absolutely just resource folders and resources kind of strewn about within the site. So students had a lot of trouble navigating the site and they were really unable to use it because they couldn't actually find anything that they needed. Nothing was organized and things weren't grouped or linked within the corresponding topics in the site. So to find the resources, students really had to search through the site and there were even resources that weren't on here before. Students had to go to the office to obtain them so they were linked to office hours. Now when we redid this, being able to link the resources folders was really, really important. We were able to allow these resources to be available on demand and in a manner that was really organized. We divided up the site into different topics that were necessary for career services. And here you can see that this page was on resumes, cover letters, and networking with LinkedIn. So we have our resume heading, a little bit about what a resume is. And then below, we actually have the different resource folders to be able to show you examples of resumes and then everything that needs to go into a resume. So it's very, very easy for students to be able to find what they need in the site. So this also kind of works because it allows the site maintainer to update the old files again directly without any fear of messing up the lessons page structure, whether they're tech savvy or not. So this was a really simple fix to a problem that we were actually ending up with a lot where the instructors would mess up the lessons page or have an issue when they linked or embedded their resources. Okay, everyone, so that brings us to the end of our presentation. Thank you so much for listening and we'll take any questions that you may have. Thanks to both of you. Um, did you see the comment from Dave Evelyn said that he loves that beautiful lessons page? Oh, thank you. <laughs> and, and I have to agree with him. That looks really, really great. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Um, Dave is also saying, um, have you disabled access to the lessons page modifications by instructors? Um, so no, uh, instructors still want a little uh, customization ability, so we do give them the ability to do that, um, but it does help them save time with, you know, with worrying about how it will look and things like that and just get to the nitty gritty. So Yeah, cool. Very good. Okay. And uh, I see a comment about uh, Terry Golightly saying Naming's, naming is important and I, I concur with that. I'm a big fan of, Absolutely. of naming well. Absolutely. Good. All right. And there are questions I'd want to ask you about the, the beginner, intermediate, and advanced um, 
but we have to move on because time's <laughs> wasting. <laughs> yes. our, our last session in this lightning talk then is going, and thank you ladies. I appreciate the, what Marist is contributing there. 